All right, so it's time for a closing statement, but it's the kind of closing statement that we have a question for. And since the opening statement started with Elliot Cutler, Kevin, I'm going to have you start the closing statements. And the question is this. This is a two-minute answer. As governor, what would be your top priority to increase education attainment? That's a good one. Well, what we have to do is a number of things, right? We've talked about a lot here today, and I've talked a little bit about targeting, uh, matching up the needs in industry with what we're educating to. We've talked about cost for community colleges versus a, a possibly a more expensive or focusing our energy there and, and not on the other, the other piece at the higher level. Uh, realistically, we need to look at cultivating an environment where higher education is at the forefront. We have something in Augusta called the state legislature. And we need to make sure, too, that it's not just one of us that goes up there driving an agenda that isn't being well received. And a governor, an executive of any kind in any business, and I have been mentored and blessed in my experience working with chief executives in some of the largest corporations in this country and some of the smallest dynamic startups. You have to be a communicator. And that's a piece that's missing today in Augusta. How we get to this goal of enabling education and working to make education available for working uh, women or for older adults or adults with disabilities or younger children or charter schools, we need a communicator who's going to advocate and champion and make sure that everyone in that state house, either side of that aisle, and the folks in our Department of Education, the next commissioner of Department of Education, critical appointment, absolutely. And you know, I've talked to a few people who have some serious credentials for that opportunity, and they work and live right here in the state of Maine. And I hope that on November 2nd, I will have that opportunity to be in that position to make those appointments, because I've been recruiting and attracting and retaining the best employees in industry and technology for many, many years. And you can bet that if there's one person on this stage who's going to pick the right people for those positions, who's going to drive that Department of Education at the state level, that would be me. My website is mainsbestchoice.com. In case you wanted to learn more about the charter school answer, thank you. Sean Moody, as governor, what would be your top priority to increase education attainment? Well, just to rebut what Senator Mayla Page said, obviously the student is important in the classroom, but we also need the educator in there too. I think we talked a lot about the private-public partnership, and I get back to that. We were at the um, USM had a with Selma Barton at a round table the other day we participated in, had Wright Express there, some of the business leaders in, that, in the community. And they, they want to hire, they had to actually start a satellite IT location in Massachusetts because we didn't have the talent here to staff it. So the need is there. You know, whatever industry you go to, there are needs for trained and educated workers. So that really common bond, I think, is where I think we need to move things forward. I think that's the one thing that's holding us back. When we've got jobs out there for Maine people and we're not able to educate them in a timely fashion to fill those needs, that is that misalignment. You know, it's, it's not a lack of trying and not a lack of caring. It's just a lack of the right people with the right data to make those alignments and create those pathways that we need to be successful in Maine. We've got, you know, one of the lowest median incomes, you know, in New England and our tuition costs are one of the, amongst the highest. So consequently, we've got less people enrolled and being enrolled in a university system. So those are the challenges that we face, as you folks have been talking about here today. And it does revolve around a vibrant economy, you know, getting jobs back in the state of Maine, opportunities back, supporting small business and business as a whole, creating a business-friendly environment so that we do have more opportunities for all people. So I think that's how we're going to do. We're going to grow our way out of this, as well as taking a hard look at state government and reducing the size and scope of it so we can lower our overhead and the cost of operations. Thank you. All right, Libby Mitchell. As governor, what would be your top priority to increase education attainment? Thank you very much for that question. I want to be the biggest cheerleader for education that ever graced the governor's chair in the state of Maine, and I want to do that based on evidence. We know what works in Maine. Why don't we get back into the evidence zone? We know we need 40,000 people with degrees beyond high school in the next 10 years. We know this. We know that Jobs for Maine's graduate works. We know that will help reduce the graduate 
uh, dropout rate, but we don't have jobs for Maine's graduates in every high school in the state of Maine. Why not? We know that early education is important. <clears throat> Why don't we have more of that? We can. We're going to use best practices and best evidence and go beyond where we are now. We simply can't afford to full pull back. We don't need to spend all our time working on mergers and consolidations. We're not talking about students and we're not talking about outcomes. We need to make our community colleges the best two-year institutions in the history of the world so that people can go there at any age and can afford to and graduate with the skills and the leadership. We need to make our university system top-notch. We want to import more students here. Frankly, every time I visit the campus at the University of Maine, whether Southern Maine, Orono, Farmington, we have the best programs of most any university system in the country. We want more people to come here. We have to change the way we think about delivering education. Look at our, not only we have a great medical school in the state of Maine but in, in the University of New England, but we have a virtual medical school with Tufts and Maine Medical Center. We can use technology. We can tear down any walls that separate us from our potential. I hope that all of us will think beyond where we've been, but to take the evidence of what we know works and as educators and as leaders talk to people about that. And I know that Maine, four years from now, can hold me accountable as being the education governor. All right, Paul, just a second. I think wherever that other microphone was, it's been left on. I don't, Ron, do you know where that went? Okay, well, if someone's got it, you might want to turn the switch off. Um, Paula Page, as governor, what would be your top priority to increase education attainment? As I said earlier, it's all about the kids. And I think that it's our responsibility in school to find the interest that's going to drive our kids. And I'll give you a quick little example of where I'm coming from. About 10 years ago, we brought in a young Jamaican boy into our home. He could hardly speak a word of English. He certainly uh, was not interested in learning, and he was way, way behind in, in the, our, our current curriculum. And I struggled and struggled and struggled to get him to read English books. And finally, a very wise superintendent told me, get rid of the dead white man books and find something he's interested in and he will succeed. And today, he is studying to get his masters at Louisiana State University and he is nearly the top of his class. And my point is, how did we get him to study? He loves golf, so I bought him every magazine about golf there is on the face of this earth. And not only is he getting his master's, but he still dreams of becoming a golf pro. So my point being, it's about finding the triggers. It's progress. I think you need to measure progress of each child and to look for those areas that there are interest. And in order to do that, we need a broader core educational system. That's why I favor charter schools. That's why I favor homeschooling. I believe that homeschool kids, if the parents have the wherewithal, they understand their children better than anyone. All right, and Elliot Cutler, you're going to wrap it up for us. As governor, what would be your top priority to increase education attainment? Thanks, Jennifer. I agree with Libby. I think we need to celebrate what we're doing right. But we also have to pay attention to the report that's been in front of us and look at what we've been doing wrong. And we have to fix it. You know, over the past 30 years, we have become the oldest, the least diverse, and adjusted for cost of living, one of the poorest states in the United States of America. And with each passing year in this decades-old vicious cycle, our economy has become weaker, more and more discretion has vanished from what we spend every year in the state budget, and meaningful investment in higher education has become progressively more difficult. And with each passing year over the past three decades, public school systems all around the state have become increasingly straitjacketed, increasingly straitjacketed by tenure, increasingly straitjacketed by the way we pay teachers, increasingly straitjacketed by the absence of charter schools, increasingly straitjacketed by too short a school year. With every passing year, 
Our systems of public higher education in Maine have been more and more victimized, frankly, by pork barrel education politics. So that we are driven by formula about where the money goes in the state of Maine. And look where we are today. Look at the report. It's right there in front of you. And if we want to keep doing what we've been doing, the same old way, it isn't going to get any better. And I cannot understand for a single minute how we can believe that it would. We're a state of 1,300,000 people. There are 50 plus cities in China today with more people than we have in the state of Maine. China is going to have 40% of the world GDP in a few more years. That's the world in which our kids have to compete. And we need to begin educating them to do that. Thank you to all of the candidates and to all of you who had questions and paid such close attention. Um, it was, I'm just now losing my voice right in the nick of time. So thank you all for being here this afternoon.